Hey guys, Ron here. Hello everyone, hello. Today I'm at the Beverly Hills Hotel and I'm wanting to show you this. I'm going to show you 90% is going to be the exterior, which is the bungalows, and then we'll just go inside the lobby and then we'll loop around. So the Beverly Hills Hotel, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you the storied history of this place. This is really unbelievable stuff. I mean, all the movie stars in its heyday, you know, the 50s, the 60s, 70s, 80s, have stayed here. And what goes on, has gone on in these bungalows? Oh man, we will never know. Maybe it's good that we don't know. I know that Marilyn Monroe had an affair with her fellow actor, Yves Montan, during the making of a movie called Let's Make Love, appropriately, in 1959. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep going here, shall we? So these are the bungalows, and these go for oh, I would imagine at least a thousand a night, probably more. Again, the Beverly Hills Hotel is certainly not in the heyday that it was in. But, it's still a beautiful place. Let's let the maid go by. Excuse me. My uniforms. And, you know, she probably lives in Culver City, but I feel like I'm in Europe or something, you know? Like I should speak to her in another language, but... Oh, here's an elevator. I haven't seen this before. I mean, the grounds aren't all that spectacular. There's, of course, the famous polo lounge, mm -hmm. restaurant, and tennis. Wow, I went away that I'm not used to going here. Oh, here's tennis courts. Let's go up this way. One, this bungalow has an elevator. Wow, that's really something. When I worked in Beverly Hills, I'd come over the hill, been in a canyon, a Coldwater Canyon, from the San Fernando Valley, and a lot of times I'd be early to work, so we'd stop off at the Beverly Hills, here, stop off here at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and just take an early morning stroll through the bungalows into the lobby. Now, on this path one night, I was on my way to a art gallery opening, and I think I stopped here at the hotel for something. And I was walking back out to the street to my car, and I saw Robert De Niro coming towards me. And he was clutching his wife's hand. Now, this is the wife that he's just getting a divorce from now, actually. But he was clutching her hand so tightly, and he was staring at me and staring at me and staring at me. And I wasn't... He was on his phone, by the way. And he was holding it up to his ear. And, man, I was going to say, you looking at me? Well, here's the polo lounge. Haven't been here in a long time. I've seen a couple of celebrities here. Nobody... You just saw Lonnie Anderson here once at that very back table there through the bushes attending a birthday party. But this is the patio at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I've been here in a long time. But I really like the polo lounge. You can eat indoors too. That's where the movers and shakers are with their caviar and champagne, I suppose. But that's the famous patio, the Bel Air, uh, excuse me, Polo Lounge, which I haven't been in a couple of years. I'm going to have to come back here. I think the most least expensive thing on the menu is a cup of ice cream for like 17 bucks. That's no lie. This is the inside of the Polo Lounge right here. The interior.
remember I was here during the rain once, and right here next to the bench, the hotel put out a little umbrella stand. I thought, that's classy. All right, I'll try not to be too overt here. Here's the Polo Lounge. That's the dress code. So here's the interior of the Polo Lounge, and you can see the patio that we were just at out there. Looks like Joan Collins. No, it's not Joan Collins. I don't know who it is, but it looks like Joan Collins. These great photos. Yeah, that's the that's the real Beverly Hills Hotel in its heyday. Looks like Charlie Farrell, but it's not. I think it's just models. Oh, we got a picture of the queen. Well, she just passed away. That's nice, nice touch. So the question is, do you see celebrities here? These are the restrooms, nice to know. Question is, do you see celebrities here in the, in the um, lobby? Sometimes. Um, I have. I just don't remember who. One reason is because everybody pulls up front, unlike what I did. It's like, that. I don't know, it's all pictures. Remember the tail on Richard Burton? From the ill-fated Cleopatra, 1963's biggest bomb. Ooh, interesting pictures from Cleopatra. I'm sure Liz Taylor stayed here a million times. And lived not too far from here. So celebrities, you know, celebrities. Anyway, you pull up front, and you've got your um, valet parking. And here it is. So basically, I wouldn't be allowed in the in the uh, pole lounge right now because of uh, because of what I'm what I'm wearing. <laughs> and I always used to come after work, so I was wearing the suit and tie, or not not the suit, but tie and dressed nicely. So, you know, this is the hotel from. Hotel California, the album, the BH, as we used to just refer to it. Let's see if I can get a better shot from across the street. The BH. Just careful here because the valet guys and other guys don't want anybody to run into us. Well, we're shooting into the sun, but there she is. Beverly Hills Hotel. This is the shot that I want. Spires. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Rolls Royce. Wow, look at that. Wouldn't even let me walk that way. So I got to go back on the sidewalk. He's saying to himself, damn tourists. Little does he know I only live about eight miles away. I've seen, the time I've walked down here, I've seen three tour buses come down here. You know, Hollywood tour buses. Probably not even supposed to be walking here, actually. Just waiting to turn in, I suppose. I believe it was Carol Lombard who lived over there. I may be wrong about that. This house was under construction for a long time, so this is what they built. Look at the size of that hedge. Let's say it is, like 50 feet. Pretty amazing, huh?
Uh, here's another tour bus coming. Let's taunt them, shall we? Let's talk to them. No, I'm just kidding. Here they are. Hey, now you're on my YouTube channel. He'll say, what, what? One time I was filming near the house where Michael Jackson died and Elvis had a house right next door. And I was with my dog actually and the tour bus driver asked me if I were a celebrity. He thought he recognized me. He didn't know who I was. I should have just played along. Because why not, right? All right, guys. That's it from the Beverly Hills Hotel and other locations in Beverly Hills today. Been nice being with you again, virtually. And uh, my name is Ron. As you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you do, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button so that you're notified when I post. Please hit the little bell icon. I just said that. And all comments are welcome. And also, uh, uh, please give the channel likes because that really helps it through its way on the algorithm of YouTube. All right, guys, I will see you at the next location. Thank you. Bye-bye.